Before we start, as usual, if you appreciate the content, if you like the fat, fluffy red hamster, all the Rin posters, or wallpapers, you could say, please give a like and a sub because it would be greatly appreciated. Now, as you can see from my screen, I'm on the Pinebook Pro, and I'm also back on Arch Linux. And not only that, but I'm also on DWM. Now, it was an interesting journey getting here because I was on Manjaro. And, you know, I kind of have this relationship with Manjaro where uh, it works and then, you know, something happens with it. And then I sort of go back to Arch Linux. I don't know why, but this always kind of happens to me. I tried many times to use Manjaro just because, you know, it. when I first saw it, it appeared to be like so user friendly and stuff like that. But I found that I've had more issues actually on Manjaro than on Arch Linux, which is quite shocking because you'd think that the whole point of it is to make the experience really easy. But for me, my experience with Manjaro has never really been that great. So I'm not knocking it, you know, cause I know they took a distro that was not so user friendly or at least not user friendly to what is commonly available for us. But they took something that was a little bit complicated for some people and then they made it more open so that everybody can have access to it or at least more people could. So you gotta appreciate that. But anyway, on to this video. One of the issues that I had in uh, DWM here on Arch Linux ARM on the Pinebook Pro and during my time of having this issue, I've seen that it's not extremely common, but it is common enough that I thought it'd be worth sharing. And the issue is ghosting. Now what is ghosting? I think the best way I can uh, describe it is by saying sort of frames that are frozen in the screen and cannot be cleared, or at least not cleared by just terminating the app. Like they live there forever uh, until something draws over it again. And I'll show you right now. So you see we close the terminal here and it's still frozen with this picture because nothing has drawn over it. If we open a new terminal, we'll see that it is now cleared and it's refreshed, but again, we'll have the same issue once we close this. So how do we fix this? Let's navigate to an empty space here. Let's open a new terminal. So what we need to do is install a compositing manager. I chose PyCom, you can pick any and let's just execute it like this, have it run in the background. And we'll see that the screen blinked. And if we go back here, we still have our terminal open, clear, and we'll see that now the screen is good. It, you know, once we terminated the app, the screen cleared itself, there's no ghost. Um, I also found that if you set the background wallpaper in DWM, it did not happen. This does not happen when you um, have a background. At least for me, it didn't happen. So that is also a potential solution. But then when you don't have compositing, you'll have screen tearing. So you kind of need to have it. Um, but anyway, you don't need to do uh, this sort of running of PyCom by yourself. You know, you could have this done automatically. And I've changed how my scripts are calling things and I'm trying to organize everything because before it was like I don't I don't know things were kind of all over the place but I'm trying to consolidate everything and make it more um, straightforward so I'm putting everything in a neat place so for me I execute um, my call to DWM where the DWM binary lives and I keep a script there and in this script I run a bunch of commands and we'll see my script here. I haven't finished really doing my desktop. So this is all that I've got. But uh, if you add PyCom here, it will automatically run when you log into your desktop. And you don't need to run it to have this ghosting issue disappear. And yeah, I'm you know, you just place your script wherever you want. I chose to put it here in this folder just... So I'm trying again to make things organized um, 
And that's about it for this one. It's not really a complicated issue, um, but it is really, really annoying. So if you, again, appreciate the content, if you found this useful, if you learned something, which I really hope you did, please give a like and a sub because the fat, fluffy red hamster would really appreciate it.